Hi guys! I hope this works today, guys. You know, it's been two, twice already that I have technical difficulties. So that's why I'm coming in a little bit earlier. I just want to make sure that you guys can see me and you can hear me. Otherwise, please let me know on the, I mean, let me know in the, in the comments box if you can see me. Okay, so I don't see anybody here yet. Uh, welcome to Portland, Oregon, guys. This is Candle Talk with Michael. Okay, guys, so today I'm going to give you a review of the new fragrance from 1617, uh, Grand Dame, Grand Dome, Grand Dome. Uh, but I'm going to wait for you guys to first. Uh... Yes, you can see me. Can you hear me? Who's there? Who's there? Is this Val? Let's see. Who's the lucky person? Number one. Number two. Yes. Welcome. I made it. Finally. Thank God. Okay. So guys, can you hear me? Let me know if you can see me. Hi, Myrna. Hi, Myrna. Welcome, darling. Hi, Jules. How are you? Yes. You can all see me. I'm so happy. Apple J. Hi. Welcome. So I have six people. Let's see. Hi, Val. You can hear me and see me first. Excellent. Okay. So let me just go to the other camera so I can show you what I have. All the goodies. Okay, guys, so you can see I have my, my table is full of stuff, guys. I just want to show you everything. So today's video is going to be all about reviewing the, the newest uh, fragrance from 1617. It's called Grand Dome. You see? I don't know if you guys have tried it yet. This is beautiful. Yes. Hi, Leyland. Welcome. So this is beautiful, guys. So I got it. And I just wanna, uh, I'm gonna wait for more people to get in so I can give you the complete review, guys, okay? And I'm gonna give you my honest opinion, okay? Because you know me, if I don't like something, if I like something, I'm gonna tell you what I feel about it, okay? Okay, hi, Serena, welcome. Okay, so first let me read you the information about uh, the new fragrance oil, it's called Grand Dome, okay? Let's see, hi, Model 2 Mom. Welcome to your first one. Okay, so I'm gonna give you the information about this beautiful oil from 1617, okay? Uh, Grand Dome, lit with top notes of bergamot and lavender. Fused with fresh yet sultry Caterini tobacco, bright and woodsy anchoring notes of balsam fir and thick wood finish this fine fragrance. Truly gentle fluid, yes it is. This alluring old world scent is one you won't want to miss, okay? Val, welcome! Okay guys, so let me tell you. So when I got, I did I smell it before because I made a candle out of this. That's why you saw in the pictures, guys. So when I first opened up the, uh, the fragrance, uh, you have to be careful, guys, because this is very, very, very strong. So when you open up the bottle and you smell it, wow, it is potent. Potent when you open it out of the out of the bottle. So I I can highly recommend that you guys test this using a fragrance strip and let it dry. Okay, why? Because sometimes when you know this kind of fragrances, guys, it's luxury 100%. But you have to let it dry for you to enjoy. For you have to let uh, the fragrance talk to you. But putting on, on a fragrance strip, let it dry, and then just close your eyes and just get the feeling okay the bergamot is intoxicating with the lavender it opens up your nostrils uh, it's very medicinal you know kind of thing perfect for the winter perfect if you are like having like a sinuses problems whatever it is but it tells you more than that this opens up your soul for the story that it's gonna tell you okay this is very old world uh, fragrance, uh, they're very uh, right when they say that, you know. Uh, this reminds me because of the combination of bergamot and and, and lavender. Uh, when I went to Versace in France, uh, it smells old world, uh, meaning like it's it has history, it's very mysterious and very sensual in a way, okay. So, for those of you guys that love this kind of combination, guys, very uh. It opens up my nostril immediately, okay? And it's just... It reminds me when I went to France. You know, every country has its different smells. You know, and this reminds me when I went to that uh, to beautiful castle. Beautiful, okay? And it has notes of... Uh, there is a tobacco leaf. It's called Catherine. Let me see. 
Katerini Tobacco. It's called, guys, and if you read information, uh, because I wanted to inform to you guys what these notes are, okay? Katerini Tobacco is, uh, is originating from Samsung uh, growers uh, in Turkey. This, uh, this tobacco is from Turkey. It has very small leaves and very exceptionally very light tobacco smell. So it's not like the regular tobacco that you smell from the cigar. This is very, uh, very delicate, very luxurious. Okay, this is what it's going to give you. And then it ends up with a note of balsam fir. Balsam fir is very, uh, it has a lot of powers, guys. Okay, the benefits of balsam and evergreen scents. Balsam scents offer a lot of benefits. Used in many household cleaners and medicines, yes. Balsam acts as a natural antiseptic and decongestant. That's why I told you that like, it opens up my nostrils immediately. In addition, balsam oil has been found to be an effective and natural disinfectant, killing bacteria like Listeria and Salmonella. However, when it comes to balsam scent itself, the aroma can be used to energize and stimulate. That's boosting your mood and more. With balsam or evergreen scented uh, uh, best high candles or rediffuses, you can reduce your anxiety and fall asleep easier. So the mix of lavender and the balsam, guys, it's going to take you to heaven. Yes! So I hope you like my review, guys. Do you have any questions? Hi, Jennifer. Welcome. Bienvenida. Hi, Paula. Hi, Chantel. So, yes. Okay. So, guys. I made a candle out of this using this beautiful, this is the eight ounce ruby red French cut from 1617. Let me just change the camera so you can see it closer. Look how what a beautiful candle this is, guys. And the top, oh my God. This is pure luxury. It's heavy, heavy, heavy. It's unbelievable. Okay, so I made a candle two days ago. It even, uh, it's not as strong as the fragrance strip, which is a good thing because you don't want this to be too strong. You want it to be delicate and you want, to be, you want this to be luxurious, okay? This is perfect for, uh, for gift, for Christmas, for the holidays. I think this is a year-round scent, guys. Oh my goodness. I think everybody's gonna love this, especially like it was saying there, it helps you relax and fall asleep faster, okay? I highly recommend it. Oh my God, I couldn't wait to tell you. I couldn't wait to tell you guys, okay? So let me just go to the other camera now. Okay, and because I like to make things a little bit, I just wanted to kick it up a notch, a few notches, okay? First, let me have some water. Mmm. Wow, this could be a holiday scent or not. I don't smell it like a holiday scent. It smells like uh, like the, the Boston fur. You're gonna get the, I mean, it could be a holiday scent because that's basically the winter scent, you know, the, like the balsam kind of a uh, scent. But um, to me, this is like an, like an all year round. It's beautiful. And you know what I did, guys? I mixed it up with Eternal. Equal parts. Guys, you have to try this combination, okay? It, it is the bomb. It is the bomb, okay? Equal part, eternal. Okay, eternal, to me, is one of the most beautiful scents. It's one of many from 1617. You know, I, I did a review last, last week of different fragrances, guys, and it, it can, you cannot compare these fragrances to the other to the other supplies for me. Okay, eternal. To me, eternal is from the goddess. Okay, this is a magnolia blossom. It's a top note, frangipani and jasmine, and it has tobacco and vanilla as the base notes. So this complements the tobacco that is on this one on Grand Dom. And when you put it together, guys, they sing together so well. And I'm telling you, the company, it's, it's just, they're like intertwined so beautifully, guys. And this is just pure luxury. 
You have to try these two together, guys. It is amazing, amazing. And because I just wanted to celebrate this, I use this beautiful vase. Verso also from 1617. This is the 11-ounce. Let me just read the, the, let me just read you all about it, guys. This is the large texture, clear candle vessel, guys. This holds 11 ounces of wax. And, oh my God, it's pure heaven. These two together, guys, Eternal and the Grand Dome together, guys. I cannot wait to burn this candle, but look how beautiful this looks. It doesn't get any more luxurious than this. Guys, this comes also on, on a smaller uh, container, guys. But this, to me, is a conversation piece. Heavy, heavy glass. Um, I cannot wait to burn it. Yes! Celebrating my beautiful candles. Okay. Any questions? Hi, P.S. Hunter. How are you? Earth Glow. Earth Glow. Alan, welcome. Guys, talking about Earth Glow, let me show you one of the pieces that I got from uh, his jewelry collection. Let me just change the camera again. Alan, thank you so much. This is the Moonstone that I got. I don't know if you can appreciate it. It's such a beautiful pendant. Now, I want to... I want to advise you guys that um, Alan, he does live stream on, on Instagram where he sells jewelry, stones, um, um, uh, crystals, you know, and they are all beautiful. And uh, so check him out. Okay, guys. And I also wanted to show you, I got these earrings. Also, look how beautiful these are. Yeah, so check him out, guys. He always um, subscribe. I'm going to link all his um, social media down below, but subscribe to his Instagram that because he makes announcements of when he's going to go live. Okay, guys, selling this beautiful jewelry. And I'm also expecting I did purchase uh, an amber, a pendant, and, an, and a ring made of moonstone, which is beautiful. I cannot wait to get them, okay? Yes, and also... I just want to show you his candles. I love this one. This one is Yoga Studio. Uh, look at how beautiful the label is. And uh, this one has green tea and lemongrass. Guys, I'm telling you. Alan, I'm sorry, but I really love this candle. And I think the smell, I'm not having burned it yet because you, you know why? Because I leave it open and it really like fills up my whole room. I leave it up on my, on my bedroom, guys, and even my husband tells me, Michael, that smells so good, and also helps them go, to, uh, help me go to sleep. Beautiful, and he has great prices too. Okay, the other candle that I have from him is this one here. It's called Serenity at Dusk. I love the name. And look at the beautiful label, guys. And this one also has crystals inside. Oh my goodness. You know, uh, this one has lavender, driftwood, and sage. <sighs> oh my God, this one are, is amazing, guys. Check him out, okay? I'm gonna put all the social media and down below so you can go check his website, you know, and support him too, guys, because we all have to so support each other. We are small businesses, you know, so, you know, we're here to help each other out, okay? Oh, Earth Glow, um, oh, uh, Alan, you're gonna love my candles. You're gonna. I think that to me, I'm so happy about them, you know, and uh, now it's, uh, it's going to be great for all you guys because at the price point is, uh, is more accessible to all of you. The candles are $32 each plus shipping. Uh, so go check it out at candle, candleromance.shop. Yes. Yes. Guys, you know, we all have to support each other. We have to help each other out. Okay. Mia, how you doing, darling? Yes. Thank you, Alan. You know, it's it's so great that we, we are like uh, on this community, you know, that like we can share ideas, you know, and tell each other, you know, okay, I like this maybe. Um, like, for example, I, I want to show you, I made six candles that I'm thinking about putting them up on my candle line. Uh, you know, guys, it's uh, it takes me 
weeks of experimentation. It takes me uh, so much time, so trial and error, uh, because I'm very finicky when it comes to fragrance oils, and I want something to uh, to smell different, you know? That's why I like blending different fragrance oils, you know? And when I come up with a winner, it's, I'm so proud of it. So this one, I'm gonna share only one candle with you. Um, not this one. I'm gonna share with you the candle that I think is gonna be his success. Okay. Number two. Okay. I'm gonna tell you guys. I'm gonna give it away, okay? But these two, Mayfield and Mojave from 1617, equal parts. Okay, my husband told me this is the best candle I've ever made. And for him to tell me this, it means a lot to me. So check him out, guys. Just buy the small packages from uh, the small uh, samples like this, you know? Um, and try them, you know? But this combination, guys, it's so... First of all, it's very strong, you know? It's So you don't have to put a lot, you know? You don't have to use 10%. You can use 8%, you know? And you are going to really love this, you know? Um, yeah, so this one, I, high, I highly recommend you guys. Equal parts, Mayfield and Mojave. Okay. Uh, I have one in here. I'm not sure about this, but I'm gonna share it with you too. Uh, it's essential vanilla uh, from Candles and Supplies. Can you see it in there? Uh, it's blood orange from Candle Science and Spice Honey and Tonka, also from Candle from Candle Science. Uh, this is a uh, pure holiday smelling. Uh, it's not my favorite, but I know a lot of you guys are gonna love this because you know I, I'm I'm not too crazy about sweet scents, you know, and the honey in this is really kills it for me, you know. But I know a lot of you like to uh, the sweet scent. So this one again, look, essential vanilla musk from Candles and Supplies, uh, blood orange from Candle Science and. Spice, honey, and tonka also from Candle Science, okay? Try it out and let me know what you think about it. Yes. Okay, now, these are the ones that I cannot give the formula because these are uh, the bomb for me. This is all from Stone Candles. Oh my God. I can't tell you how good this is, guys. One of the scents is one scent that was recommended by Alan, which is Lotus. And I'm gonna leave it in there, okay? And just this one is definitely gonna be on my candle line. Another scent that I love from Stone Candles is Cassis. This one has Cassis also on them, also uh, from Stone Candles. <sighs> I love Cassis. Okay. Now, uh, this one also has Cassis. Cassis and tobacco, okay? Cassis and tobacco. Okay, this, these tins, guys, these are from Candle Science. These are the bubble tins. Okay, so check them out. And the last one, I think that's it. So those are the vessels that I have in here that I'm testing, guys. But I'm not gonna be using this. I'm not gonna be using this on, on my candle line. I'm gonna. I'm gonna use. I'm gonna. I wanna keep my candle line to be more. Uh, what it is. I wanna keep it black and white for now. I'm gonna be using the same containers that I, I don't have one right now. I'm gonna be using the, the same containers that I'm that I use for the salted gardenia and nocturnal uh, nocturnal night. So because those are uh, to me that size is 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 best for me because I wanna. I want to bring you guys a product that you can all uh, be able to purchase, you know, at a, at a friendly, uh, pocket friendly, uh, how you call it, price. Yes, and guys, the uh, when you order these these things, we watch out for them because uh, a lot this 
have a lot of imperfections on them so watch out you know when you when you, when you order them and you get them i have a, like a a, a a lot of dents on them you know on the side so i'm not too crazy about this you know okay let me see what else i have to tell you guys so i think that's about it guys do you have any questions for me Let me see. Oh. For my pictures. So this is the, this is the different, uh, these are my mini melts that I sell guys. So what I did is I bought this on, on, on um, in Amazon. So for pictures, and look how beautiful this is. So this, this is a, a, a tea warm, a tea light warmer. Oh, Mia, you got the candle? Great! Oh my God, I'm so glad. You know what? Uh, gardenia is very tricky when you work with gardenia. I smell so many gardenia uh, uh, fragrances, guys, and it could be pungent, it could be too floral, it could be mixed with something else that you can just only get a hint of the, or, or the gardenia, but for me, I just wanted to get the, the pure essence of the gardenia blossom, and I think this candle really delivers it. Plus, because I'm adding uh, some woodsiness to the base notes, that's what balances uh, the floral note of gardenia, and it brings them all together. And that's why I named it uh, Sultry Gardenia. Yes! Let's see what else. Yes, guys. Uh, the shipping is slow because of the hurricanes on the East Coast. You know, everything is, is stuck. I got a, a, I got a, a, an alert from from UPS telling me that, you know, that everything is slowed down, you know, due to the weather, you know, because you know what happened to the in Florida, the hurricane, all that stuff. So being that everything stopped on those states, so everything is like, uh, it's having a rippling effect with uh, the whole shipping in, in the whole uh, East side of, uh, is that um, of the country? Yes. Okay, guys. So Apple J, I have not uh, played anymore with the uh, number three uh, wax from sixteen seventeen. I haven't done any more testing, so I'll let you know when I do test more. Okay. Okay, guys. Do you have anything to share with us on the group? Any any uh, any discoveries? Have you been exploring new things? You know, let us know. Okay. Okay, guys, so I'm gonna leave the live stream here and please let me know uh, when you get the oil, let me know what you think about it, okay, guys? And try doing the mixing. Okay. I use number seven wax for this. And I use a, a double CDN number four for this candle, and this is like formerly known as Soy Bliss. It's called now number seven for 1617. And for this one, I use a, a double CDN number three, wicks, and it's also uh, number seven wax. Oh my God, I cannot wait, I cannot wait. Guys, I love making candles so much. Let me just switch the camera here. I love making candles so much. Uh, it's such a passion of mine, you know, like it's to me every time that I look at something or like that I smell something I say will this look good on the candle? Will this smell good on the candle? You know, it's like everything I, in on nature everything that surrounds me is say, oh my god Will this make a good candle or not? And that's when you know that you are a, pa uh, a candle lover, you know, when you have that passion inside of you Yes And uh, number seven To be honest, I only cure for three days Sometimes the next day I, I burn it and it's beautiful. So that's why I love number seven so much. Yes. I'm waiting to cure them. I'm, I'm waiting to cure them, guys. I'll let you know on my next live stream on my next Sunday. How is the HD? But I'm, I'm, I don't want to uh, light them up now because they, they are curing, okay? I'm waiting for at least three or four days for them to, uh, to cure. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, guys, so I'm going to leave the live streaming here, guys. If you don't have any more questions, then I'm just going to let you guys go. Enjoy your Sunday and have a wonderful week. And I'll see you next Sunday. Yay!